It's time for Carnival. Thousands of crews across the state of Mississippi are preparing for Mardi Gras with their prestigious courts. Here in Biloxi, Stephanie Poole has a closer look at the Gulf Coast Carnival Association on the SIP experience. Let the good times roll. A sea of purple, green, and gold coat the Gulf Coast each year during Mardi Gras. Crews tossing their largest throws of beads, moon pies, and jewels to spectators. In Biloxi, home of Mardi Gras to the Gulf Coast Carnival Association, one woman continues a tradition and ever-growing legacy. When I come in here, I'm just breathtaking when I see all these beautiful costumes. President Susan Hunt walks me through the Gulf Coast Mardi Gras Museum, reflecting on historical artifacts from decades of celebrations. When my grandfather, which is Walter Henry Skeet Hunt, he was four years old, and a Mardi Gras parade passed in front of his house. That is kind of what sparked him on and was part of his life. Back in 1908, it was the first day parade. 17 floats, 50 carriers, the new 12-piece Herald newspaper band, a grand marshal, the mayor, and the councilman. Whew, the monarchs were the first King D'Iberville and Queen Ixalip. This is, seems like the big piece of everything here in the whole museum. Yeah, this right here, mm -hmm. these, if I think these are Queen Ixalip, Catherine Rushton, and King Gavin Keith Williams. In 1916, the organization was named the Biloxi Carnival and Literary Association. By 1929, other cities and counties joined in the festivities. And by 1949, the Gulf Coast Carnival Association was born. My father, he, in 1950, he became the general manager of the Carnival Association, parade chairman, and then 1953, he became the, the association first captain of the Gulf Coast Carnival Association. What crown do you like or scepter? I would have to go for this one, top right. I think I'm with you. Hunt's greatest memory, helping piece together jewels, diamonds, beads with her sister as a little girl. We would glitter the king's shoes. And so we glittered and we kept all the costumes at our house. You see a lot of costumes. You see the Gulf Coast Carnival Association costumes, but you see a lot of individual crews. They have special beads, maids, dukes, if it's a crew. Her role in the community doesn't stop here. Just down the road at Mary Mahoney's, Hunts welcomes visitors each weekend. I check to make sure they have reservations, send them up, or if we there in the carriage house or in the Glen Cotham, I take them there. A warm smile to greet faces of the Gulf Coast and That's spread exactly the Mardi Gras right. spirit. To see these children get so happy when they get a stuffed animal or they get or they get a bead from the king or the queen or a duke or somebody off of the float that throws them something. My parents would be, grandparents would be elated to see all the different changes. In Biloxi, Stephanie Poole, WLOX News Now. All right, a nice story. And although we expect showers on the coast this weekend, carnival season is officially here with that full lineup of parades also scheduled. Yeah, looking ahead, the second liner's Mardi Gras Club Parade is happening in Biloxi. Crew unique and Ocean Springs uh, that music in a lot of <laughs> And Ocean Springs Elks Carnival Parade will roll in Ocean Springs. Whew. Over in Pass Christiane, the parade will start on J.P. Landa Road. These are all set for Saturday afternoon, coincidentally, all at 1 o'clock. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Sunday afternoon, you can also catch the 20th annual Lozana Parade, which will start rolling at 1. We have a detailed look at all the routes on gulfcoastweekend.com, so be sure to check that out.